the Joe Rogan experience. I was so enthusiastic about this, and 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 I said, people say, don't talk about it, but I said, no, I'm so, ex- I'm not here to to take the pe- the people's money. You know the money, the money that comes in from the government. I want to put it to to programs, and I want to make make this uh, make this uh, this government administ- this governor's administration as powerful as it can possibly be. And I want to, you know, I it's about holding on to that power too. I, I've only planned to run for to run for one term because I'm not here to I'm not here to be. A leader. I want to be with the people. The mana is with the people. We have the power. I want to be with the people. I, I'm only planning on going in for for one term. Can I ask you this though? What yeah. if you don't accomplish everything you want to get done in one term? What if, if it's more difficult to get through the maze of bureaucracy? And- I'm, I'm I'm here to work with. I I want a, a, a strong lieutenant governor. I I have the lieutenant governors that I see that are coming in. I want to work with well with everybody and endorse who I have to. If the people need me and they say, BJ. Let's do it. We need you one more time. Of course, I'm going to come and stand up for the people, you know, and that's why I have no problem even doing this in the first place. I would have never had the life that I had if the people of Hawaii didn't support me the way they did. I would have never got to this success and, and all of these things. I didn't win every fight. I would come home with my face be- beaten and, and battered and, and the people from Hawaii, the people of Hawaii would say, hey, you got to fight again, BJ. You can do it. You're our hero. Come on, let's show them. You can show all the kids, show everybody. We can, don't mess with Hawaiians, you know, we can do this. And they've always stood behind me. And I got no problem doing this for them. And it's for our children and for everybody. So I'm just, you know, I'm in. And they're going to keep coming after me. They're going to keep throwing whatever they can at me. And let's go, let's go. BJ, you got to get together with Jerry, uh, with um, Jesse Ventura. I, 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 yes, I need, I need to talk to, I was, Jesse I had him in mind, Jesse the body, and, and Hawaii's got so many different problems with our housing problem, our energy problems, now everything with the gas, and I, and I really want to invite Elon Musk to come over and, and see if he could help us with Hawaii, because it's, it's a landlocked state, and, you know, everything comes in off the boat, and you got everybody talking about the Jones Act. Do you know what the Jones Act is? No, what's the that's, Jones that's Act? That's an act that makes all international boats go to California first before they come to Hawaii. They can't just come to Hawaii. This was made back when Hawaii was a territory. So all kinds of different things that a lot oh, of wow. pe- di- different people talk about. That you know, sounds so inefficient. They, they, um, you know, Hawaii is the most unionized state, but... Our families all work in those unions. We're all together, so we all have to figure out how to uh, update all of these different things and make them work properly. Do we just bring the boats from? In, do we do we build our docks bigger so they can take international boats, but just have our unions be the ones to take to take all the stuff off their boats, so our unions still, you know, control the docks and not other people, not international people controlling our docks? Because of course we want our people from home. To, those are our cousins. Those are our family. Right. You know. So what? Whatever. You know. You hear all kinds of different stuff from you know the big things in Hawaii right now, the housing, the rising cost of living, you know, the education, and and the the this the rising cost of living is is what's killing everybody right now. And 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 we, we have no self-sustainability, you know. You see, you know how big the Big Island is. I believe we could do the right thing. And, you know, from, from Wailuku River to Waipio Valley, that's 50 miles of water and farmland. And, and they're talking about growing 100 million trees for the climate. I'm saying every tree better have fruit on it then. Every tree better have food on it. You know, we, we're stuck dependent on a boat coming in and out. And even more, we have to protect our waters. You know, all, all the water is um, held in perpetuity to the people of Hawaii, but we almost need to go one step further and, and make it an, a national treasure. I didn't say a federal treasure. I said a national treasure to the people where you can't just start diverting waters and doing all these things. And I mean, you take half the water from a stream coming down. You kill half the life that was around in that stream. You know, and these are all things that I've seen growing up and that we have to think about our our sustainability and sustainability right sustain is you're staying in the same place we need to thrive right. we need to move forward the airplanes come in full they drop everything off and they go back empty why 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 does that happen it doesn't make any sense 
how much change would have to be done for Hawaii to be completely self-sustainable? Like, like what kind of industries would you have to put there? Or you never have to get anything off of a boat. Is that Jeez. even possible? Well, I don't know what, what we would have to figure out what we're going to do with petroleum. But that's right. that's why I want to talk to people like like Elon, you know? That's why I want to... People who, who know well, you got a different lot of sun. things. You, you know? got a lot of sun, but I think solar in its We got a lot of form, sun. We got yeah. a lot of sun. I think solar in its current form um, is, is great, but I don't think it's really capable of running a whole city yet, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. We got a... I don't I don't know what we have out there. You know, we have to figure out. I mean, the gas is expensive. The gas is expensive in Hilo. Yeah, gas is expensive everywhere. It's uh, it's weird. It's, I've I've never been able to understand that. Like, right? Is uh, they did the oil disappear overnight? It's, it's, Where did it go? Where did it all go? <laughs> you know, you want Somebody there. tried to explain it to me and I glazed over. I was like, I can't pay attention to this. And you, no, it, it, when whenever we go to any of those like there's a lot of like uh, speaking meetings right and yeah. i think i hey this is some real mixed martial arts this stuff because not only do you have to know what what you got to do when you get in well there's a lot of black and white stuff and that's like freedoms or like basic stuff and then there's state budgets you know what that i mean gets gray. yeah yeah gray areas you know right? that's that's where that's where you yeah. got to have a lot of people helping you out right, you know what i mean right. 